Hi, I'm Sue. Hi, I'm Mark. And together we are... Nuts, Nuts on, on tour. tour! This week we actually are on tour. We're away at a site we have visited once before. Back in 2022. 2022, yeah. Oh, that time ago, my goodness. I was bald then. <laughs> if you go back and watch the video, I was bald. <laughs> so we are at Botany Bay farm which is just north just north of norwich yeah, yeah just north of norwich it's not not far from home it's only about 35 36 miles from yeah, home so yeah not that far but we like it here it's an equestrian center uh it's a little cl there's only five places uh there are no facilities the only for well not showers or toilets. There's no shower, no showers, no toilets, no washing facilities, anything like that. All you've got are fresh water, waste water, and black dump. That's it. Yeah. And you want anything else? Bring it yourself. Metered electric. You yeah. can use electric, but it is metered, and you have to take your reading before you start. Take your reading at the end. Take one from the other, and it tells you how. I think it's thirty-nine p per kilowatt. Hour. Hour. And yeah. basically, you leave the money in an envelope and put it through the farm door. There are uh, horses here. I don't know if you can, if I wind this in. I'm not sure you can see anything. There you are. You can see the fields behind us. Hang on. Yeah. Over the top of Monty, you can just see the horses' fields out there. And then, of course, further out over... Lady Nut's shoulder is uh, some of the heath. The heath. The so, uh, the heath, the part of the heath which you can walk on, but it is fenced off because there's actually I think, well, there's supposedly wild ponies out we, there. We saw eleven, eleven wild ponies out there the other day. It was uh, yeah. Quite a lot of them. Brown yeah. ones, white ones, a couple all of black colours, ones, yeah. all colours. I mean, as for Botany Bay, where we are currently staying, it's actually on the southern border of the Marsham and Causton Heath. And the heath and the woods equate to 300 acres that you can wander through, wander over, you have to be careful, though, because it is what they call a site of special scientific interest. So it does state in certain places, which I assume is because of wildlife, etc., that you're supposed to keep your dogs on leads and not let them yes. run riot in the in the wood. Well, not as so much in the woods, but on the heath. On the heath, disturbing yeah. birds that are nesting out yeah, there. Yeah, I mean, there are. Uh, we have so seen one this morning. Not did get it on camera, but we saw one this morning, which was a red, well, it was a kite. A kite. I don't I know think. if it was red, but it was a kite. And there, there are buzzards in the area. Plus, apparently, it's a bird watcher's haven for some of the bird life that's out there. Mm. And uh, we had a very nice walk yesterday, about yes. two and a half miles with these two. On leads, on, on long leads. We have them on uh, lunge leads that we used to have the horses, horses. on. Yeah. So they, uh, they're allowed to romp, but only a little bit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Under, romp, but not under free. Under supervision. Yeah, romp, but not free yeah. romp. Yeah, from, from here, as in if you're coming here, apparently family, it is a family site. I wasn't sure because the fact is everybody here is adult. Well, it is the middle of a school week, so yes. Well, yeah, there is that. So, like I say, it, it does say families welcome, but the thing is, you, you're not far from National Trust properties of Felbrig Hall and Blickling Hall. And if you're travelling slightly further north of the county, towards the coast, you've oh, got... Cromer. Hot, you've, yeah, it says you're about 20 minutes from Cromer. Hmm. But if you're going up towards Holcombe Hall, which isn't National Trust or Heritage, I don't think. It's, it's an independent. Just an independent, yeah. But that does open to the public. There is the bygone museum, the museum there. Yeah, that's up there. On the site, down at the farmhouse. The farmhouse apparently is 18th century, they think. But there is two <laughs> converted barns. Thank you, Dakota. And Dakota's just found her squeaky really toy. Yeah. There's ah. two converted barns. One's called the Thrasher's Barn, which sleeps seven. And the other one is the Shire Horse Barn, which sleeps four to five. Now, according to their website... We'll 
put the it is eighty pounds a night for either one of them, but I don't know if that's current because that's it's on their website. So it might be current, it might not. But you can, you know, if you're a big family, you can rent both of them, and they're both joined together. There it is. Yeah. So yes, and apparently it's like thirty minutes up to Blakeney and Wells, and which is like further, further up the coast, further up the North Norfolk coast. We've got the uh, what three words. I can't remember what it is off the top of my head, but we will put an overlay on the screen now. Mm -hmm. So you'll be able to see what that is. Uh, like I said, I did look at it. and Yes, that was yesterday, so I've slept since then. <laughs> it's on your phone somewhere. <laughs> No, but there fine. is actually on the website, to be perfectly honest, what three words, but the what well. three words on her website were different to our what three words that we I, uh, did at the entrance. Yeah, it depends so where you do it. I did it literally stood at the entrance, entrance. to the site. So as you, I don't know if uh, you all know, but what three words splits the entire country up into six foot squares. So if she was stood literally six or seven foot away from where I was, she'll have got three totally different words. Mm. So, uh, yeah, not yeah. a problem. You can use either the one on the website or the one I've just put up on site. Either will work. They will bring you mm. here. Yes, yes. It's yeah. a, so, like I say, it's it's hard standing. There is uh, picnic tables, actually, that are, are actually on what I call the near side of your van. So if you're in a caravan, the picnic table's on your side. Uh, because we're a continental, our, our door's on the opposite side. So our picnic table actually is in the middle between us and the caravan next to us with nobody using it. Not that we'd use it at this time of year. Phone signal on 5G on O2. Yeah, You're... I've got 5G, five bars of 5G on O2. So we're uh, pretty good. I the can't tell you that any of the others because I've only got Well, that. I know when we were here last time, satellite didn't work because of the trees that are directly above us plus the actual coverage once they're in leaf yeah it's coverage. The, 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 that's not we, so good we haven't we haven't tried the telly this was not great telly no, watchers but i have noticed that everybody who's got a telly pointing they're all way. pointed that way <laughs> no they're all pointing that way okay <laughs> out across the heath yeah out across away the from heath. the trees <laughs> away yeah but like I say, we haven't uh, we haven't bothered. We haven't. So on with the vid. A little bit of the walk on the heath. Uh, a little bit that we did the other day. We went out. We we went out. We went out in the car and we played a game, didn't we? Get lost. It was it got it get lost. I'm not sure if that's really what it's called, but it's supposed to be a card game that you can buy the cards and they tell you they give you instructions. We've adapted it to suit us and we we chuck dice instead. Two dice. <laughs> One dice tells you if you turn left or right. The other dice tells you how, how many roads, how many junctions you go before you turn, turn left, left or, or right. right. If you throw a double, you have to do something. So like double one could be stop and have a coffee, double two take the dogs for a walk. Double three, stop and have a picnic. Double four, find your nearest point of interest, whatever it may be, yeah. and go and visit. Yeah. So and like I say, you we make did... them up to suit yourself. <laughs> if you want to do walks, you make them yeah. walk related. I. Uh, we did that, didn't we? And we ended up at a little place that you'll see it on the video called yeah. Honning, and it's where the old East Mid, well, the Midlands to it was the East Midlands across to Great Yarmouth Railway. For the factory workers, I believe, and yeah. that sort of person coming down to the coming coast. to the coast for their holidays. But yeah. of course, Mr. Beechin took all the railways away, didn't he? Yes, yeah, so that was the end of that. So they've made it into a nice. It's now part. I think it's the Weavers Weavers Walk or Weavers, Weavers Walk. Way, and Weavers it's a way. sixty Weavers mile way. round trip. Well, it's sixty miles from wherever it starts, which I think is up like Great Yarmouth, and it comes all through the county and down, and I think it's. Did it stop somewhere? No, it stops at Great Yarmouth. Well, it, it goes from the top down. Yeah, it goes down somewhere. It goes from like Cromer down to Great Yarmouth. Yeah, I have I actually, it's, it is on the video actually, the picture of it. So yeah. where it actually goes to or from, depending which way you want to walk it. But it's 60 miles, I'll tell. There's that. <laughs> if you're up for a good hike. On with the vid. <laughs> Enjoy. Right. Good afternoon. It is afternoon now. We are at a place 
called Honing sign over there. It's an old railway station. Just have a wander up here and you can see what we mean. Well, apparently, Midland and Great Northern Railway used to run along this way. That's the details. Welcome to Honing Station. It ran from Leicester to Great Yarmouth. It did in its day. It's now a lovely walk. Actually, it's a nice track that you can actually cycle on as well. It is. And, uh, gates up that end. It's supported by the, or has been supported by the National Lottery. And they've got plenty of parking. And there's lots of little things dotted about that supposedly the loading dock. <coughs> These tracks are still here. And the old railway gates are still here up the other end. I think the waiting room's copped it though. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be a lot of that left. Entrance to the car park. A waiting room on what I'm guessing would have been possibly the east down platform, yeah, that's what's left of that. And this is the waiting room on the up platform. That was the ticket, ticket, not the hut, but just this side, this bit was ticket office, waiting room. That's what it did look like. Still in the waiting room. At the back there, you've got the louver trees. You have at the back and other little odds and bobs on the uh, on the platform. But yes, nice to take the dogs for a walk on there. A lot of people, I think, just let them. You know, I say it's in the in the track. You can just let them have a run. The uh, little wooden hut did have a job. It was the pump house for pumping water into the steam trains. It was, I'll just show you. This, this, they've now claimed this track as part of the Weaver's Way. So you, it's, you can walk from Cromer all the way down through Aldborough. Not the old brother that's on the coast, Aylsham, and then down to Stalham. It doesn't, I don't think it actually says how far it is, does it? 60 miles. 60 mile hike, <laughs> for those of you who like walking. Oh, good afternoon. Oh, good, fresh afternoon. This is Marsham Heath. That you can see here. We're just tramping through the heath. There are little footpaths, but this is quite, quite, would be a very pleasant walk actually. It is a bit of a dog walk, I think. It is. But yes, it's very nice. And bikes by the look of it. I can see people roaring through here on their mountain bikes. <laughs> really interesting. But yes, the woods in there, you can go through them as well. And there's a lovely lake in there with lilies on it in the spring. It is gorgeous. But this is a really shame about the clouds. Supposed to be nice tomorrow. Mr. Steve's off into the wilds of the heather and gorse. <laughs> Not quite sure what he's found. Yeah. 
All the gorse and heather and gorse. Oh, still a bit breezy, but had a nice tramp through the heather. It really is glorious out here, and I should say on a nice, warm, warm, sunny day, it probably looks a treat as well. But there's lots of little tracks used by humans, bicycles and horses <laughs> and dogs. So yes, it's a, it's a nice walk. And for us that are staying here, the sight just literally the other side of them trees. So, not too far away at all. It is glorious though. Mind you, I think in the summertime you may have to watch out for snakes. This would be their, their patch, I think. <laughs> but yes, it is lovely. And then you've got trees, which actually the road is on the other side, and the forest all round us. That bit of the forest actually over there, you might not be able to see too well, but that is actually quite a big area. And coming a different way back through the thicket. Oh, trees. There is a path, but I think it's more animal than human. <laughs> yes, this is the edge, and the road is out there. Not far away. Oh, I'm tramping back down the road now. Mark's nearly... Back at the entrance, the official entrance. <sighs> to Botany Bay. And this is the official entrance to Botany Bay Camping and Caravanning Club site. Mark's just doing the what three words. Yes, this is the way in. Oh yeah, I can imagine sort of here on the ancient green. Hope you enjoyed that. A little bit of uh, a little bit of driving, a little bit of vid, a little bit of honing. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Little bit of this, little bit of that. <laughs> A change. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Thank you to all the new subscribers that have now put us over 500 yeah. subscribers. There's got to be at least, what, 30? 30 odd. 30 yes, odd new 30, 34 subscribers or 34 in the last, last month. In the last few weeks. So, yeah, yes. Doing well. Thank you very much for your support. We appreciate it. Anybody watching who isn't supporting as a subscriber, please, please do. It costs nothing and you're quite welcome. Yep. Anybody want a sticker swap? Just give us a ping, direct message. We've got the new stickers in now, courtesy of Bay Designs. Bay Designs or something, I can't remember. Bayview Designs or Bay I Designs. I can't remember. I we'll shall, have to check uh, that. I shall have a look. I'll have to check that. But um, yes, there. Uh, we seem to have picked up quite a few new people from america and germany america and germany got so hello to germany, germany. You <laughs> hello to america <laughs> hi all to the americans yeah, and you can do the german yeah, all. <laughs> hi all to the americans and you can do the germans good and dog mm, well actually it'd be uh good good morgan at the moment well there you go at the minute it would you're still doing your duolingo german aren't you yes Yes. Mm. <laughs> yes. 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 So thank I, you I for can, watching. I can I know what water is and bread and wine <laughs> and beer. Especially the wine. <laughs> we can get by for drinks or Vino. food. I can do S and Vino a cerveza for for for. 
See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.